Okay, Mrs. Castle here, and we're gonna learn how to um, make a stop motion video using the app Oh Snap. So I'm going to follow instructions and tap to create a new project. I want new project. And then I'm going to rename my project and I'm gonna call this Castle 2. I want it landscape because my iPad is going the landscape direction. If you turn your iPad um, vertically, choose portrait. I want to use the back camera because that's the direction I'm facing and then I'll click create. So I'm going to, you can adjust your settings if you need to, um, but we want to start shooting. Now up here in this corner is this little icon with the um, circle and the crosshair. So I'm going to turn that on and that changes to a little onion. So I'm going to turn that on and then press the arrow here. And then I'm going to, um, the main object that I'm going to have in my video is the salt shaker. So I'm going to click the camera. That's going to take a picture. Now I'm going to move my salt shaker just a tiny little bit. See how you can see a little ghost? That's the new, that's the position that I'm moving my main object to. That's a good thing. So you can tell exactly how far you're moving your object. You, the trick to a really good stop motion is to move your main object oops, in teeny tiny little amounts. The smaller the amount that you move it, the better your stop motion is going to turn out. Now I only want you to do 10 to 15 seconds worth of video. Now it's going to take you longer than 10 or 15 seconds to make your little video. And but um and you can adjust how fast your your video plays at the end. Um, another thing to watch out for, and it's easy for me to control right now, but um, is not having clicking your camera before your hand is out of the way. Because I can't, I have to hold my phone and shoot my film or you know, move my. I have to switch my phone from hand to hand, so that's making it very easy. Oops easy for me to, okay, I'm gonna, to keep my hand out of the way. Now I'm gonna turn this a little along with moving it back so that you can kind of make it twirl at the same time. Now I'd rather for this one that you do objects um, later on I'll let you do people and we'll talk more about you doing people in a minute if you have siblings in your house it's going to be easier for you to do people but who knows I mean if um, if your parents allow you to work with somebody else that would be all right but we'll talk about that more later we'll talk about more more about those ground rules later So now, um, how many photos have I taken? Down here in the bottom, it says 34. Okay, um, and right there it says current, I'm at 34. So, uh, let's see. To see what I've done so far, 
Okay. Um, I'm going to go back and I can hit play. Um, I can FPS down here means frames per second. I can increase the frames per second and make it go a little faster. Oops. And if you want it to go a little slower, you can make it go slower. But I think it looks a little bit better if you pick a little bit faster. So if we want 10 to 15 seconds worth of video, if you take your frames per second, and I've got 16 frames per second, if I want 16 sec or if I want 10 seconds, I need to shoot 160 photos. And you, you can put more than one thing in. Like I could use the pen back here and make my film more interesting. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to go back and I'm going to click shoot. And this is going to go back to where I was so I can shoot more. I can take more pictures. Okay. Now when you are done, we'll pretend that I'm done. Uh, let's see. I want to click, and you know what, I'm going to put that in a separate video so you can watch that later so you don't have to re-watch this one. So that's all for right now. That's how you shoot, and so go ahead and shoot your video, and the, excuse me, you can come back and see the next video for how to send it to me. All right, talk to you soon. Have fun with this. This is a lot of fun.